Hello everyone, welcome to Teamwork Design, where we strive to design life from conversation to communication. I am your host, Terry Mera. Have you experienced such negative emotions for an extended period? You may not even remember when it started, perhaps. I have talked about how to navigate negative self-talk whether diverting to productive actions, positive distractions, and even open dialogue with yourself by talking to yourself. Well, let's dive a little deeper, shall we? (laughs) Most negative emotions are from fear and the potential pain we prefer to avoid, which leading to anger, sadness, bitterness, and etc. And the longest ones that linger around are the most painful ones. Sometimes I can't even articulate what they are, yet they negatively influence my life, which I didn't realize amidst of it. And I try to get rid of it by diverting it, ignoring it, pretending it's not there, sometimes even open dialogue with myself. But the emotion is still there, you know? It just doesn't go away, regardless of all those efforts. It doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter how hard I try to get rid of it. It's exhausting and leading to more anger and more frustration and, well, more pain. While it's often advised to let go of these negative emotions, right? You heard it. Let it go. Let that shit go. (laughs) Well, knowing what is good for us and doing it seems too far to reach sometimes, you know? The very first action is often the most challenging part, right? (laughs) Well... How about acknowledging it first, honestly, for what it is, as best as we can. The first step of acknowledging these emotions is the most challenging part. But it is really important to recognize and honestly name the emotions you are feeling. Whether it's pain, suffering, anger, depression or sadness. Then what? You may ask. (laughs) Well, it's up to you if you want to be brave for yourself. Allow yourself to feel these emotions without self-judgment or self-condemnation. Feeling pain is not wrong. It's simply a part of a human experience. Feeling sadness or suffering doesn't make you weak or inadequate. By removing the stigma around these emotions, you can create space for acceptance and healing. I know, it's fucking hard. Excuse my French. But I understand it can be incredibly difficult to embrace these emotions and allow yourself to heal them. I mean, who wants to feel the pain? Seriously. Who wants to be angry and suffer? Who wants to be sad? I know it's not an easy choice, but sometimes it is necessary for true healing and growth. I would like to share my story with you to assure you that you are not alone in this journey. Many people have gone through similar experiences, including myself, you know. I've had my own share of challenges, anger, frustration, and fear. It's normal to question why life feels unfair, especially when you worked so hard to be a good person and do the right things. Well, February 2017, my life has had a significant shift. Since then, there were times that I felt so exhausted 
with rage, anger, frustration, and fear. I felt injustice, unfairness, and betrayal, and I don't understand why life is so unfair, you know? I try so hard to be a good person, doing my very best, the right things, and trying to be helpful as best as I can. Yet, my suffering, t h e n negative emotions, seems way too far greater. And painful. Sometimes these negative emotions seem to fade away briefly, but they always have a way of resurfacing, especially when I am vulnerable, triggering me like a time bomb. One day, after dropping my daughter at her elementary school, I came home and I locked myself in the bathroom. I don't remember the details of what made me to, but I locked myself in the bathroom and cried my eyes out. Why bathroom? I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, out of any room, why bathroom? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I cried with the exhaustion. Without knowing what it is, I just cry. I had so many mixed emotions that continued to overwhelm me, you know? I couldn't stop. I went through phases of a different crying. <laughs> I cried with the anger. Then I cried with the frustration. Then injustice. I kept crying. I just cried with exhaustion and started to let it all be. I didn't try to control or suppress it. While crying like a little kid, I acknowledged all those emotions that I had been avoiding. Looking back, I realized I didn't know I was carrying so many negative emotions, you know? A few days later, I noticed myself being humbled. <laughs> I don't know how or why, and yet grateful and felt like I could breathe better. After this instant of crying in the bathroom, <laughs> I understand how important it is to acknowledge and understand my emotions. And I found a unique way of identifying and personifying my different emotional states. Like, I have angry Terry, <laughs> frustrated Terry, bossy Terry, cranky Terry, happy Terry, and funny Terry, and etc. You know, I often seek for our funny Terry since she's an excellent companion to have.、Um, she can bring humor and lightness to life's challenges. It works for me. That I have developed a connection myself, all my emotions as a part of me, you know? When you encounter、um, negative emotions, please know that it's part of you asking you to recognize yourself. See me for what I am. I exist. Acknowledge me, you know? Remember, it's okay to feel a range of emotions. Including sadness, anger, and fear. Each emotion has its purpose, and by acknowledging and accepting them, we can heal and grow. So give it a try. Just acknowledge what you're feeling without any judgment and feel it for what it is. See where it takes you. Then finally, you are able to let it go. Instead of letting it go on, I hope you find a way to let it go. Thank you for tuning in. This is your host, Terry Mara.